Hi. <coughs> Aloha kakahiiaka. My name is Wiki Me Amino, <coughs> and I am the honored judge, well, retired judge, or well, okay, fired judge, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> a hearings officer for the TMT contested case on Mauna Kia. You know, I have been getting a lot of shishi shabai for my decision to approve the permit for the 30 meter telescope to be built on the sacred mountain. I'm pretty sure those <coughs> losers criticizing me haven't even read my full decision. <clears throat> it took a lot of heart and soul to write these 300 and 25 pages just to say, build the dang thing already. <clears throat> I will have you know that every single page here <coughs> cost you almost a thousand bucks of DLNR money that is not protecting birds and reefs and stuff. So you might as well at least read it. <laughs> Anywho, I want to read <clears throat> some of the highlights of this little Bureau of Beauty so that uh, you people can understand how the laws of the state of Hawaii work. Really work. See, the legislature makes laws. The administration enacts the laws. Then they appoint a board of land and natural resources to make decisions on all the land that was taken away from the Hawaiian kingdom and put it to what we call a sacred trust. <clears throat> this board is made up of real land experts, developers, real estate tycoons, pupule missionary descendants, people who can really work together on making decisions that are good for using the precious resources of our fake state to the maximum potential. That board in turn appoints moi to make the decision that is in the best interest of the colonial majority of the very emotionally people of Hawaii. <clears throat> I draw on years of expertise in the judicial system and my lifetime membership in astronomy organizations to find ways to make the laws work for everyone. <clears throat> and with a little tweak here and a little edit there, it can be done. Let's face it. It is only a bunch of highly dramatic native people opposing this incredibly lucrative and therefore important project. And with the right decorations, their concerns can be met too. And look, <clears throat> many of them are young people who can't possibly know what they are talking about. As Governor Abercrombie once said, this telescope will not be stopped by people who found their culture six minutes ago. And he was right. Well, other than the one time a few months later when those hundreds of people saw the bulldozers going up the mountain and suddenly found the culture and were on the road to blockade it six minutes later and completely stopped the project. Other than that, he was right. And yes, we are fully aware that those same few thousands of people are quite prepared to blockade construction all over again. Well, my recommendations include culturally appropriate ways of addressing them too. Government brutality does not need to be ugly, you know. After all, this is the Aloha State. <clears throat> Accordingly, here are some of the ways that I have brought balance to this difficult situation. I, former judge, Wiki Me Amino, therefore recommend the following cultural mitigations in order to culturally appropriate the project. Oh, cultural 
cultural appropriation, culturally appropriate. What's the difference? Go back to your boardroom and make more, some more money with your little state wheelie dealies. God, like you're good at. <laughs> Time is not fungible. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. Cultural appropriations or mitigations or whatever the flunk you call them. The stuff that makes enough culture to make an 18-story building plus three stories dug into the sacred mountain and stores thousands of gallons of chemicals right over one of the world's purest aquifers, A-O-K. -okay. All right, here they are. My recommendations are as follows. Mm. All DLNR officers shall carry Hawaiian printed, eco-friendly issues, tissues to comfort one another when they have to arrest their Ohan, Ohana on the mountain. <clears throat> TMT shall be renamed with a Hawaiian Inoa, Ka Mia Haole Nunui Hewa Loa, in order to make it more culturally appropriate. Appropriating. <clears throat> All police brutality and other repression shall be done off camera as so as not to upset the kupuna and keiki of the land, thus inspiring maluhaya, which my friend Harry says means peace in Olilo and Stitch Hawaii. As my Buddhist friends in government like to say, <clears throat> if a rubber bullet falls on a skull and no one is there to see it, there won't be an uprising and we all get to keep our jobs. And that's a good thing. <clears throat> All arrested protectors shall be taken to a special cell block, newly painted with the Hawaiian imagery to be designed by our selected cultural contractors. <laughs> <coughs> That is with the exception of <clears throat> Mr. Fergustrom, who must be taken immediately to my chambers for personal questioning. <clears throat> In <clears throat> go handcuffs, if at all <sighs> possible. <clears throat> <clears throat> Cultural training shall be carried out by an appropriating, uh, appropriate organization such as P U E O or profiteering uh, exploits owls for all TMT staff. In fact, force fed culture would be good for everyone in Hawaii, but I will leave that to our dear governor to see just how he can put that TMT money to good cultural use. I could go on, but you can read it all right here. <clears throat> what I really wanted to share with all of you is how I've been very inspired by this whole process, which has truly psychotically bureaucratic, sadistic government control freaks well-paid dream come true. Ah, uh, and for you, DLNR, don't give up the glory, just as our wealthy white forefathers massacred the original peoples of the great land we call America to found the great country from which the state of Hawaii gets its guns. So we too must emua together to overcome the opposition to our continued assertion of the idea that there is actually such a thing as the state of Hawaii in the first place. <clears throat> Be not shamed by those who would hold back progress 
for they are but ignorant savages in really attractive clothing. Stand proudly for progress. With that, I have a song to share. On every mountain, shall we take every stream? Surely, what we're doing is wrong, or so. One last song. This is for all of you who didn't believe it was possible to grab a hold of the law and twist it to the will of science. For all of you who questioned me, doubted me, made me smell all that delicious food you were sharing with everyone, this song is for you. I did it 
Was beautiful. Me mostly. 